in previous video we talked about what Azure migrate is and agent based and agent list kind of migration and also uh, understand the concept of agent based migration on VMware VMs that was it right and today we are going to understand Azure migrate agent list on hyper V VMs hello everyone my name is Arun and let's get started so in previous video it was high uh, VMware but in today's video we are going to talk about hyper V VMs that do agent less migration via Azure migrate okay so we all know what Azure migrate is we have covered the entire uh, introduction overview and the concept of Azure migrate in the previous video it's, it's a centralized hub to track discovery assessment and migration of your on-prem workloads to Azure okay so let's come to the agent list in agent list migration of hyper v uh, vms to azure we install a software agent only on hyper v host or cluster nodes and nothing needs to be installed on hyper v vm for example if we go to the agent based migration we all know there is an agent right here an agent is being pushed via process server to all the VMs to send their data but in case of high, uh, agent less we don't we do not push any agent to the VMs there is only a software agent that needs to be installed on the Hyper-V host so let's try to understand with the help of a little architecture here let's suppose this is our Hyper-V host and we have few VMs here VM. come on so these are few VMs running on the Hyper-V host and we need to move these VM to the Azure with the help of Azure migrate migration server migration tool that to agentless okay this is what our task is and we have this Azure here cloud so we need to move these VMs to Azure okay let me type here Azure storage account which is very important all right <clears throat> now as I said we did not install anything on these VMs the only thing we need to install a small uh, software agent on the Hyper-V host okay so let's try to that you will get from the uh, what we call it portal of the Azure migrate okay that you get it from there you download it it's a single set of file and you install it on your Hyper-V host and this set of file is has two components okay let me create those components the bigger one let's say bigger one is uh, let me create two components here that will make more sense this is what the setup file which installed two components here okay These are the main components of this type of migration and it is called replication provider okay. and we have recovery 
service agent okay these two now we need to understand this replication provider that we installed on the Hyper-V host needs to get registered to the Hyper, uh, sorry, to the Azure Migrate server migration that we have on the Azure portal created for this migration. We have to register this with that tool, okay? And this replication provider let me write this down here first. Azure Migrate Server Migration. Okay, we have this thing here and this replication provider needs to register with this. All right, and what this replication provider actually does this provide this provider orchestrates the replication of Hyper-V VMs. Okay, so let me write this down here. What it does, replication provider is it's an orchestrator. Trader. Uh, for the replication of Hyper-V VM. Okay. Now, this part is done, but how this replication data comes that he needs to orchestrate? That comes with the help of recovery service agent. See, there is two components. There is one more component here and his duty is little more. It handles data replication like replication gateway. It works with the provider to replicate data from Hyper-V VMs to Azure. And replicated data is uploaded to an Azure storage account. So it handles data replication. Okay, and with the help of provider, with the help of provider, it sends data from Hyper-V VMs to the Azure storage account. Okay, that's how it works. So this is the uh, replication gateway. This orchest orchestrates the entire replication and data upload on the Azure storage account. And these two components, let me create one more No, don't go there. So this replicates data to the Azure storage account. And this thing happens from both the uh, components it orchest orchestrates on port 443 and same thing happens with a uh, recovery service agent it sends data uh, through outbound https 443 connections okay s outbound okay and Communication from the provider and agents are always secured and encrypted. All right. Now, once the setup is done and you come to the Azure, uh, Azure Migrate Server Migration uh, tool and you enable the replication, what just happened? Initial sync begins. It starts sending data from here to here and in that what data it takes the snapshot of the VM okay and VHDs on the VM are replicated one by one until they are all copied to the Azure and this initial sync is always depend upon the VM size and the network bandwidth okay so I should right here 
initial sync snapshot okay and it depends on VM size and bandwidth how long would it take okay now disk changes that occur during initial replication okay disk changes that occur during the initial replication are being tracked through HRL log files and these are placed in the same folder as the disks so each disk has an associated HRL file that's sent to the Azure storage account these are stored in the Hyper-V host initially and then they uh, sent to the storage account in a continuous fashion so incremental disk changes are tracked in HRL log files replication logs are periodically uploaded to an Azure storage account by the recovery service agent okay so it is a continuous movement of the data it all the data comes to the Hyper-V host so you gotta make sure you gotta have space enough space here for the log files and then keep on sending to the Azure storage so that comes to our mind is the performance so what all hamper its performance well now replication performance is actually influenced by many factor okay the size of the VM the data churn rate available space on the Hyper-V host for the log file uh, storage and upload bandwidth for replication data and target storage account in Azure Hence, you need to plan accordingly how everything should be in place as per your uh, migration plan. You could also utilize the ASR deployment planner for all those things. Okay, and you can also control you can also control the throttling, the upload throughput of the data. You can. Uh, limit the bandwidth used to upload data to Azure on each Hyper-V host okay and you can enable the throttling from from the uh, Azure Backup MMC you need to go to this location under C program files and Microsoft Azure recovery service agent bin you'll find there you need to open that MMC and under change properties you can enable the throttling so that's a little uh, concept of agentless migration of hyper VVMs to the Azure so we did cover agent based from VMware to Azure and this one is hyper VVMs to Azure so let's meet in another video of Azure migrate thank you for watching you have a good day